Diffraction magnetometer in tan A position. Aim of the experiment is to determine the moment of a given magnet, a bar magnet using the diffraction magnetometer in tan A position. For the diffraction magnetometer in tan A, coming to the theory, we are using a diffraction magnetometer in tan A position. Now a diffraction magnetometer consists of <coughs> a compass box. That compass box is placed at the center of a wooden board of about 1 meter. And the compass box is provided with a short magnetic needle which is pivoted at the center of a circular scale. And an aluminum pointer is fixed perpendicular to the magnetic needle. And the circular scale is graduated from 0 to 90 and therefore there are 4 quadrants are there. Now coming to the principle uh, of diffraction magnetometer, we are using the tangent law that is B is equal to BH tan theta, where BH is the earth's horizontal component of magnetic field and B is the magnetic field produced by a magnet. And these two fields are mutually perpendicular that means the field B produced by a magnet at the center of the compass box is perpendicular to BH. Then only we can use the formula B is equal to BH tan theta. And in tan A position, B is the magnetic field on the axial line of the magnet. So, B is having a value given by mu 0 by 4 pi 2MD divided by D square minus L square the whole square. That is the magnetic field on the axial line of a magnet. Therefore, from the equation B is equal to BH tan theta, we are getting mu 0 by 4 pi 2MD divided by D square minus L square the whole square equal to BH tan theta. From that, the dipole moment of the magnet M is equal to we are rearranging uh, 4 pi by mu 0 B H D square minus L square the whole square tan theta by 2 D where D is the distance of the magnet from the center of the complex box. D is the distance of the magnet. The distance is from the center of the magnet to the center of the compass box and 2 L is the length of the magnet. So, L is half the length and the theta is the diffraction produced uh, by the uh, magnet when a resultant field is there. So, we can calculate the value of M using that formula. <coughs> now, coming to the uh, procedure, initially we want to adjust the diffraction magnetometer in the tan A position. Now, when in, in tan A position, the diffraction magnetometer is arranged in the east-west direction. So, for that arrangement, we are having two adjustments. Initially, the compass box which is placed at the center of the wooden board is rotated such that the zero and zero line of the compass box is parallel with the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. The zero zero line is parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. Secondly, we are rotating the whole apparatus such that the aluminum pointer reads zero zero. Then naturally what happens that the uh, wooden board or the diffraction magnetometer comes in the east to west direction. So, that is the initial adjustment of the diffraction magnetometer. Now, in order to take the reading, the magnet is brought. The magnet is kept at a certain distance d such that the deflection is between 30 and 60. We can select the distance. The distance is measured from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. So, that, that the magnet is placed at a distance of say 20 centimeter. Then we are getting two deflections 1 and 2. The magnet is reversed. No south pole here and north pole here reversed. Then we are getting two more readings in the third and fourth quadrant. So, we obtain four readings. Now, this particular magnet is placed at the same distance on the other side, say western side at the same distance D. Then we are getting the reading 5 and 6. Then the magnet is reversed. Then we are getting the reading 7 and 8. So, totally we are obtaining 8 deflections and we can calculate the mean of the 8 deflections and mean theta and from which tan theta is calculated and the moment is calculated. To repeat the experiment, we are changing the value of distance d to another value and the diffractions are noted. So, for different distances, we can repeat the experiment and we can determine the <coughs> moment of the magnet. Now, coming to the tabular column. So, here we are having a column for distance d say 20 centimeter, 18 centimeter, 16 centimeter etcetera. The diffractions are noted 1 to up to 8 mean theta and the moment is calculated. So, we obtain the result of the particular experiment. Now, in tan A position to adjust the deflection magnetometer in tan A position, we have two adjustments. One is the rotation of the compass box. Second one is the rotation of the wooden board. The first one is rotation of the compass box. 
So initially the compass box is rotated so that the zero zero line of the compass box we can see one zero here and the other zero here. The zero zero line is parallel to the scale of the diffraction magnetometer. The zero zero line is parallel to the arms of the diffraction magnetometer. Now secondly we are rotating the wall apparatus. The wall apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer, the aluminum pointer should uh, read 0, 0. So, the wall apparatus is rotated so that the aluminum pointer reads 0, 0. Now, what happens? Now, the aluminum pointer is reading 0, 0. One 0 is here and the other 0 here. The aluminum pointer is reading 0, 0. Now, the arms of the diffraction magnet magnetometer comes along the east-west direction. The diffraction magnetometer now lies in the east west direction. Now a magnet is brought and the magnet is placed at a some distance d where d is the distance from the center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. d is the distance from center of the compass box to the center of the magnet. Here the distance d is near uh, 20. So we can adjust the distance such that the reading on the compass box should be about 60. So here for a distance of 20 at the center of the magnet I am getting a reading 60 and 59. Remember, the magnet should be placed exactly along the axial line or along the uh, center of the board itself, not side, uh, not moving to the sideways. So, we are getting two readings 59 and 60. Now, we are reversing the magnet and keep the magnet at the same distance 20. Then, we are getting two more readings. In the other two quadrants, we are having four quadrants. Again, I am getting a reading of 59 and 59. So, we obtain 4 readings for a distance of 20 when the magnet is placed on the western side. Now, the magnet is moved to the eastern side and keep at the same distance say 20 centimeter. 20 centimeter. Then, you are getting 2 readings. Uh, here, I am getting a reading of say 59 and 59. So, that is my 5th and 6th reading. Then again the magnet is reversed, the magnet is reversed and kept at the same distance 20. Then we are getting two more readings that is 7th and 8th reading, 7th and 8th reading. The distance is 20 itself, again I am getting reading uh, 60 and again 60. So we obtain total 8 readings for a distance of 20. We can find the mean of that 8 readings that is mean theta, from that we can calculate uh, the moment of the a magnet pan theta and then the moment of the magnet can be calculated. Now, we are repeating the experiment we are taking another distance instead of 20 we are taking another distance say 22 then we are finding the deflections a uh, 1 2 the magnet is reversed we are getting the readings 3 4 and the magnet is moved to the other side at a distance of 22 we are getting the readings 5 6 when it is reversed 7 and 8. So, we obtain 8 readings for a distance of 22, then it is repeated for another distance say 23, 24, 25 etc or 4, 5 distance we can repeat the experiment, but take care uh, the reading on the compass box should be between 30 and 60. So, the distance is fixed such that uh, we are taking a reading or the reading on the compass box is between 60 and 30, the reason is that uh, tan theta is more accurate or error in the tan theta value is less for a value of deflection uh, lies between 30 and 60. So, that is about how we are taking the readings in uh, tan A position. Now, we are having a sample set of observations for tan A position. The length of the magnet is 2L that is 7.5 centimeter or 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter uh, BH and mu zero you know. Now, initially the magnet is kept a distance of 20 centimeter in one side. <coughs> Then we obtain diffraction 60 and 59. Then the magnet is reversed when we obtain diffractions 59 and 60. Then the magnet is placed on the other side. Then we are getting diffractions 59 and 59. Again the magnet is reversed, then reading 60 and 60. So totally we are 8 reading and the mean is 59.5 and the moment is calculated using the earlier formula that is 1.71 we obtain. Now it is repeated for a distance of 21 say 22, 23, 24 and 25. For each distance we obtain the 8 deflections and mean deflection and the moment is calculated and we obtain a moment mean value of moment 
using this formula uh, for uh, moment is calculated for pi by mu 0 bh d square minus l square the whole square by 2 d tan theta d and l we knows and each time we substitute the value of tan theta and the moment is calculated and the mean moment is obtained 1.808. Now from that moment we can determine the pole strength that is m by 2l. So 2l is we obtain 7.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So obtain the pole strength as 24.11 ampere meter.